Ladies and gentlemen, this is a scalar. And in our notes, we talked about scalars. So what we're going to have in this case for the scalar is, again, I like to write this in vector form and uh, component form. You don't have to. I just prefer to write it this way. Okay. Then I just apply. Okay. Now let's go ahead and graph it because it does ask you to graph, right? So now we go ahead and graph. I go over 3, 1, 2, 3, down negative 1 half. Down 1 and a half. So over 3, down 1 and a half. And there you go. That's your vector, 3, negative 3. But let's go and write this in as how the vectors look, OK? Um, so how these vectors look, again, let's just write in. So that's 3 over 2u. What is exactly what does u look like? Well, u is 2, negative 1. So I go over 2, down 1. So what I want you guys to understand from this type of problem is notice we multiplied this by a vector, by a scalar, right? We multiplied this by a scalar. The scalar affects the magnitude, the length of the vector. But you can see that the direction is exactly the same. Unlike the other problem, though, that I did, when we found the resultant vector, the resultant vector had a different magnitude and it had a different direction, right? So it's very important that you guys have that kind of understood.